Thanks so much. Well, some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. I think Robert Palmer said that. Anyway, a lot of those people who like it hot going to be hanging out this weekend at Jungle Gyms, October 3rd and 4th for the weekend of fire. George Phelps from Chili Rocks here to show us some of the great food they'll be cooking up. And he, I got to tell you, when I walked up, George said, how, how much are you willing to risk? Which one's the hot one, George? This the hot one. This is the combination of two of my hottest sauces. Now, on Sunday, we're even going to kick it up even hotter. We're doing the four horsemen relish. Four horsemen yeah. relish. So basically, it's uh, the ghost, the uh, jalapeno, serrano, and the, uh, what am I forgetting? Habanero. So if it's a hot kind of pepper, it's in your yeah, relish. It's going to be in the relish, yes. And in addition, it'll have all the different, for some sweetness, it'll have all the different bell peppers all diced up in it, too, just to add a little bit of sweetness to it. But it's going to kick butt. Uh, we didn't have the relish <laughs> available today yet because the chef is still working on that concept. Yeah. But what, like I say, what this one right here has is a combination of my, two of my hottest sauces. If you can picture habanero being 10 over 10, okay. a pure habanero, yeah. one of these that's in there is 25 over 10. The other one's uh, tw uh, yeah, 21 over 10. Now, see, I'm really nervous. Adam Clements is out here now, too, and I'm going to have him jump in in a second because I, I guess I'm willing to give that a try. I guess... Now, you've got some people, though, who love this hot stuff, George. Yeah, yeah and we're going to be doing, on Sunday, we're going to be doing a contest. It's going to be the uh, Deep Fried County Eating Contest. Uh, it'll be, uh, they'll have, actually, what we're going to give is similar to the plate right there. They'll have one and a half that they need to work on. Now, it's going to be extremely hot. One of the things we're planning on doing is we're going to take our injector, wherever that went, and actually inject the hot dog. Uh, we, the problem we ran into is that it has chunks in it and it's jamming in my injector. Uh, but we, we're actually taking a meat injector and we're going to run it the full length of the hot dog. Have you been surprised at all over the last couple of years how this event has kind of taken off? What is it about this, make it hotter, make it hotter, make it hotter, that seems to be clicking with people? The, the love of hot sauce has just gone crazy over yeah. the past few years. I've been now involved with sauces for about four years. Jungle Gyms is where I got my start. The Deep Fried County is how I actually got my start. It was a dream that I came up with. I went out and met, met with them. I had a couple sauces that I wanted to bring in. I brought yeah. it in the wrong way. I, I'm learning as I go along. <laughs> but one of the things as I'm going along, I'm talking about my idea of this Deep Fried County. Well, that, I find out afterwards that he had already sent out the press release and I had no choice. <laughs> so I had to run down the street to a place called Sneaky Pete's that I was working at, at a sports bar. I ran down there and I said, uh, we need to put together a Deep Fried County. And nobody ever heard of this thing because I just came up with it in a dream. <laughs> and so I... Um, I went ahead and put it together. The first time I made a mess because I didn't weigh it down. It flips over, it starts opening up. Uh, that's the key is to hold it down. But basically what we do is this right here is we start out with the tortilla. Okay. We then go ahead and uh, throw a bun on here. We throw our dog, which I just broke. <laughs> we throw our dog on it. It'll here. taste the same. I won't tell anybody. Now this is one of the recipes that you have on your website for it. This is, a con this is what I call a, uh, a sandwich bread. And it's a combination of my uh, fiery mustard, my fiery ketchup, a sauce called Chicago, which is everything on a Chicago style hot dog, <laughs> and a ranch dressing. And it's a combination of all those inside it. Okay. And it's, it makes a great sandwich spread. And now so what's one of your recipes. And you're going to wrap that thing up and we're going to put it in the in the yeah. fryer? Yeah. So then we go ahead and throw a little chili on here. And then, so we started out with cheese and chili on the bottom. Then, of course, you got to have more cheese. Sure. And then we it take. It doesn't even make sense if you don't have more right, cheese. Right. So when you're wrapping it, the key on wrapping it is to make sure there's no breaks. Yeah, because you don't want anything getting loose in that fryer. And thanks to. Uh, uh, nanos, uh, they donated the uh, tortillas. These are very great tortillas to work with because they're very flexible. Uh, a lot of them are, uh, will actually crack on you, and if you crack, you can't use it. Now, I just about made the mistake. You want to cover that up? You got to cover it. If you got to weigh it down, and as you then they'll throw it in for about two minutes, and that's what the finished product is right there. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. George, I'm going to come around this way, and I'm going to do the thing you're never supposed to do. I'm going to give the microphone to the guest. Okay. And okay. Adam and I, you want to try this really hot one? Yeah, I want to try the really hot Go one. Go for it, Adam. Okay. Doing it. You ready? I'll take this one. All right. Guys sticking out there. Now, the Fiery Food Show is not just strictly hot sauces. It gets into sure. a little bit of everything. Here we go. We've also got some Bloody Mary sauces, mixes. we got salsa. And one of the That's things, true. if you're looking at one pot over there with the hot dogs, that's actually a marinade blend that is uh, Bloody Mary, <laughs> Bloody Mary mix and uh, salsa. All right. Oh man. October third and fourth. I'm a wimp. It's a weekend of fire. Jen, back into you. Oh, uh, stay God. tuned to see here if Bob and Adam are actually able to talk coming up in the next uh, cut in here. Uh, looks pretty good, guys.